Okay. All right. Welcome back to Retired Life. Yeah, I'm glad you could join us. <laughs> so let's get right to the topic at hand here. How do you tell your boss that you're going to retire? For some people, this can be really, really tough. For me, it was really, really easy. But I wanted to make it fun. I didn't want to just say, hey, boss, I'm going to retire in 30 days. Not me. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun, but not. <laughs> so we, uh, I decided to get a plan. And I needed to choose a date. And I wanted to give them, you know, two or three months, something like that, to uh, find someone to replace me. Because my job wasn't a simple one. I, I'm all over. All the stuff I have to do, you just don't teach somebody in a, in a week or two. And I figured it was going to take a couple of months. So, the year was 2020. And I'm th sitting there thinking, and we're getting real close to April Fool's Day. So I thought, let's make this fun. So I go into the office on April Fool's Day and uh, ask him if he's busy. My boss. And... He said, no, come on in. What's, what's on your mind? And I said, well, I'm going to retire. And he's like, yeah, we're all going to retire. And I'm thinking, well, duh, but let's go with this. And I says, yeah, but I'm giving you one year's notice. March 31st of 2021 is going to be my last day. So when I'm telling him this, I'm 59 years old and I'm going to be 60 when I retire. Now, mind you, he's only 59 years old. So maybe why his boss is having a hard time believing that he's going to be retiring. Um, but he was coming home most nights complaining about, you know, his back hurt, this hurt, that hurt. He's just in pain all the time. Um, I was still working, had a decent job, and sat down and penciled it out. And, you know, if we were, if we were careful and we minded our P's and Q's, we actually had enough in, in savings that we could survive for two years until he could start drawing that Social Security. And um, it just seemed like a really good time for him to, to leave a really physical job and, and start retirement just a little bit early. Yeah, so... After telling him, you know, giving you a year's notice, he's he's really starting to chuckle a little bit about it because he's thinking this is all a big joke. So I just left it at that, and we went on some other conversation. I don't obviously remember what it was. So as time goes on, you know, one month, two months, three months, every now and then I'd drop a little piece of information like, wow, what am I going to do when I retire? And man, I'm really going to miss you guys and stuff like that. And he's just like going, uh-huh. He's thinking I'm still joking with them. So finally one day, I don't know, we're like four or five months into this. He's like, you're really going to retire, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I am. <laughs> and April 1st of next year, the joke is on you because I'm not coming in. <laughs> I'm done. So after... A little bit more talk in there. Then he started getting upset. And I thought, oh boy, I've blown it. You know, I've ticked him off. Because, like I said, we're friends. But you could just tell something was, was wrong. And I said, well, what's the problem? Are you mad at me for retiring? And he goes, no, I'm not mad that you're retiring. What I'm mad about is... You're going to retire and leave me here <laughs> to continue working. <laughs> so now I'm laughing. And I said, well, nothing's holding you here. And he goes, no, I can't because I got five more years before I can retire. So, and I believe that was going to put him at 63 or 64 when he retired. I believe he was going to retire early too. So just not it, as early as you. Just not as early <laughs> as me. So that is how I told my boss. 
and I made it fun. And having a boss that understands was a bonus too. And anybody I told, they're all laughing at me too. I'm sure he told upper management that I was retiring and you know, they all had a good laugh about it because I'm kind of known as the jokester there. But it, yeah, it was a a good deal. And so, <laughs> and I, I do miss my boss and some of my co-workers. But in general, that is how you tell your boss. Don't stress over it. Just go tell them. Because if you're only going to be two months from retiring... All you got to do is a little bit, two months of pain, and then most people will never see their boss again. They're done and gone. I still go back every now and then and bug them, ask them what they're doing today. Oh, you want to know what I'm doing today? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, <Nothing>. I <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Whatever I want. Whatever I want. Having a cold one, that's it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, true story. Got a little bit of uh, laughing out of you, too, so. Oh, I'm waiting until you hear what happened two weeks after retirement. Yeah. Yeah, stay tuned for that <laughs> video. It's, it's coming up here pretty shortly. All right, take care, everyone. Ciao. Cheers.